Hello and welcome to the C++ and Science YouTube channel, where I will teach you various topics around C++. I'm your host, Andreas Fertig, a trainer and consultant for C++. One of my rules is to use user-defined literals if they are available. I'm a big fan of them, and today I like to convince you that they are really great and help you. What we have here is a very simple code snippet I include the string header, I drag in all the string literals from that header, and then I'm creating two variables, s2 and s3 here. For s2, I'm assigning a new std string object constructed from a c string literal, and for s3, I'm directly constructing a std string object using the user defined literal operator. If I transform this in C insights, there is one thing that we can see. For this user-defined literal operator, the compiler knows the length of the string at compile time, which is no surprise, it's a C string literal, a constant one, so the compiler has to allocate the storage space for it anyway, so it knows the size. And the user-defined literal operator is one way to query that one and have it available. Why is that interesting? Let's switch to compile explorer. So this here is the same code as we saw it in C++ Insights. And what we can see here is that we have a call to the std string constructor here. That one gets my C string literal, my const star pass, and the potential allocator that I could pass to my string, which I'm not using here. The second call we see is the one here to the literal operator taking my const star and an unsigned long for the length. So this donates to this operator here in C++ at sites. Because it's a little hard to really dive into std string, I brought you here a rough mockup of a std string. It's a very raw version of a std string with the focus on what we are discussing today. So I have this class string here. I store the char data in a unique point array and I only have length. So no small string optimization and all that stuff. What I have is two constructors. One taking a const char star and another one taking a const char star and the length. What I obviously have to do in the single argument constructor case is I take that char string and I have to determine the lengths somehow. So I'm using my char traits helper here, lengths from the standard library, and I'm delegating practically to the two argument constructor. And why is that? Because the two argument constructor here now creates a new unique pointer, an array of type char, and it needs to know the length. So in that case here, I don't know it, so I have to figure it out using length. And here I'm allocating the memory, then I'm storing the length and I'm copying the data. Down here we look at the user-defined literal operator for my own string class. That one takes the const star and the length as we saw it previously and it creates a freshly created string object, passing the C string literal and its length to it. Now if you look at the first object creation S2 here, where I simply pass a C string literal. That means that from a performance point of perspective, we are calling the single argument constructor first. To get the length of that string, we have to go over this entire string, finding the null terminator at the end of the string. So imagine you have a quite long string that takes some amount of time. And then we have to go over this long string again when we copy the data into our local std string or my string buffer here. So that means I have to go over this string two times. One to get a length and second to copy the data. If we are looking at the version using the user defined literal operator here, I only have to go over this long string once because I'm, I only have to copy the data. I know the length because the compiler tells me the length. So this is 
the reason why I prefer user-defined literals for performance reasons. I also like them because I think they make my code cleaner and um, more readable, but from performance point of view, this is what you can get. And the compiler gives that to you for free. Consider user-defined literals, using them more than you might have before. You can get some performance improvements at this point. Compilers optimize std string in RS very heavily since we added const expert, so you might not see the same effect or the same difference for the std string or std vector version, but the tendency is there that you're looking at the very same situation and you can run into that that a compiler has to pass over the string two times. If we do not have to rely on optimizations, it's the best. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.